This is the second time I've gone out with the Garrett Ace Apex. Come with me and see what it's like in real life detecting. It's a lovely day. So unusual for me to have played and rolled. Still a bit hard, due for rain. Let's crack on. Get the old ace apex out there, see what we can find. Okay, Garrett Ace Apex. What we're gonna do, we're gonna use it in um, open zero mode, sensitivity two from the top, uh, volume eight, I'm going to knock the uh, iron volume to four, so you can still hear it if you need to, but it won't overwhelm things. Uh, frequency, I'm still going to use multi-frequency, and channel is, is irrelevant because I'm nowhere near anybody else. So here we go then, it's going to be on zero, no discrimination, two from the top, multi-frequency, let's go. Got a nice 84 but it's a surface find and uh, nothing remarkable looks like some sort of a furniture decoration perhaps my first coin of the session lovely repeatable 84 and to quote somebody it's a a booger it's a 2p sorry Aaron it's Nick your catchphrase but a blinking 2p it's all about learning the tones and uh, it's a new machine you're gonna have to get your ear in there you go folks <clears throat> I suppose we're a good 12 inch plow depth lovely and rolled I'd like to give a big shout out to Anton Roberts becoming a YouTube channel member. Thank you so much. Your support is greatly appreciated. Thank you, Anton Roberts. Nice signal, 84, but, well, <laughs> a P200D. So the question of the day is, what on earth there's a P200E. You can comment below, it'd be brilliant. Okay, it's a bit noisy. This feels so I'm going to change it at zero. Just go to that jewellery. I'll just knock some of the lower stuff out. So we go in jewellery. We'll still keep um, two down from the Full on the sensitivity, so there we go. Okay, I'm just coming up to these pylons. And there's a cell site as well. So I'm just going to go underneath them and see if it affects the, uh, the apex in any way. Okay, I'll put it back to uh, zero and um, two segments down from the top. For sensitivity and I'm just going right under the pylons now I'm right under the pylons now you can hear them buzzing and there's no difference there's no chatter just normal what you'd expect So yeah, pylons and the ice apex, not a problem. In fact, I've just took it up to full sensitivity and uh, apart from a, no a noisy signal there, no chatter, oh nothing, that's good. Well to be fair, I've not really <clears throat> had a heck of a lot of stuff to dig, it's a lot of rubbish on this particular field. But, there's a sort of mid-80 tone, you'd probably
probably wouldn't walk over. Let's see what it is folks. There's not been a heck of a lot else <clears throat> come up at the moment. Right, it says us out. Well, it's in there, but from past experience, it's probably going to be another piece of random lead. Or part of an aircraft or something. Yep, it's going to be a part of molten lead. Hopefully we may have a, a crash site here, because there's been a lot of aluminium. A lot of aluminium found. Lovely little signal. 70-75. Oh, I just don't believe it. It's a new half. It's a half new penny. So that works out that it's a quarter bugger. A half of a new pence. I thought it was on something good there. Yep. Looks like 1971. Introduction of decimalisation. Obviously somebody didn't want the half P, so they <laughs> intentionally lost it. So that's quarter of a bugger. Well, I had to come back a uh, second day. It's rained and it's very windy. Uh, the 46 here and it's basically a surface find. Nice little button look, little teeny tiny button. Can't see a heck of a lot on it. There you go, a button. There's a lovely 72 down here, about four inches down. Apologies for the wind if you're getting it. I'm trying to get me back to it. Um, it's a coin. It's a bit of a coin of nothingness. It's, well, I'm guessing it's silver. It's not a button, definitely not a button. Uh, it's bent up. I can't see anything on it. So, happy to say, well, I'm going to start a coin. Just had a good look at it, and I think, people, we have hammered. I can see a head on there. It's very, very faint. It's, it's a hammered coin. Possibly love token, sort of bent. Doesn't seem to be damaged like a plough, but hammered. It's hammered. Hammered with the apex. Ooh. I've uh, put the sensitivity right up. It's still stable. Uh, obviously ground balance at first. On the old pumping method. There you go. Sorted. See if we can get hammered number two. I'll just flick this out of the hole actually. It's an 81. And it's just down here. Hopefully it's a coin. Definitely not a button. Could be a coin of nothingness. We'll just have a spritz be back right at you. Well definitely a coin. Uh, I could just make out a face looking to the right. Can't tell much more than that. Back is fairly toast. So yep this is a mid 60s. Decent tone. I just flipped it out. Can't say it was going to be anything fantastic but yeah. Looks like part of a buckle. Yeah, look at that, with half a buckle. Yeah, we're on a roll. It's around the 60s, mid 60s, 70s. See what we got here. It's going to be trash. I 
think it's out. Let's see if we can find it. First handful. <laughs> oh well. Don't know what it is, but I don't think it's what I'm looking for. <laughs> It's a thing with two holes in it. Any ideas? Comment below. 77. Dingling. Bicycle bell. So there we have it, another session with the Garrett Ace Apex. And uh, yeah, I still like it. It's a second session out with it, and what more can you want? Silver hammered. Hammer time for the Apex. So thanks for joining me, and uh, yeah, see you next time.